Are you ready for round two? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. I'm at about 100 plus. We're Brad and Jazz, and this is our journey to financial independence. Over three years ago, we sold our first item on eBay, which started our obsession with reselling online. Join us as we share how we make an income reselling items we find at garage sales, thrift stores, and auctions. This week, we hit the op shops, buy out an amazing collection, and prepare for Brad to join the business full time. Welcome back. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. This week is actually Brad's very last week at his office job. Next week, he will be joining me full time, selling on eBay, and we are pretty excited. We just came out of lockdown, so we have not been able to source for a week. So this week, I will be hitting the op shops with Thrifty Pixie and hopefully stocking up so that when we have both hands on deck, we have a bunch of stuff we can get listed. I actually did go shopping yesterday with Thrifty Pixie, so let me take you out the back and I'll show you what we got. Yesterday's mini haul includes these pretty funky looking leather Riker loafers, a nice little stack of hardcover Harry Potters. We all know I want to keep those. Uh, this is Brooks Dyad. They are in pretty good condition. The last ones I got had a bit of wear that I didn't see uh, until it was too late, but these ones spot on. This Columbia jacket I paid up for, I actually paid $30 for this. The reason being, it is the Omni Heat. Uh, it's thermal and I've listed it as pre-owned, but I've also said that it is like new. It's definitely never been worn. If you were watching last week's vlog, then you know all about this. I found another Sportscraft Liberty print, snapped that up for $9. And we also got just a pair of RM Williams jeans as well. There is one more thing. I did get one more item and it was a vintage AFL polo shirt. It didn't have a team attached. It said the AFL store and I couldn't comp it anywhere, but I did list everything that I sourced last night after I got home and that one sold already for $49.95. Hopefully Brad can show you a little picture of it. I will be absolutely looking out for that again. Never seen it before. Really hope to find it again. Are you ready for round two? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> shopping round two was such a success that I got my stuff home, I listed it all, I put it all away and I forgot to show you guys. Let me show you the few things I still have inside. I was too dang focused on getting that work done but here we go, here's a little highlight reel, mini haul. I did pick up the Ariat boots from the Salvos Thrift. They were $4 and they had $4 written on the sole in silver marker. I actually got that off really, really easily with some hand sanitizer. It just stripped it right away, which is probably why our hands are all feeling so scummy at the moment. That stuff's powerful. Um, I've actually listed these really high. They are such a good brand. They are waterproof. I've listed them around 90. I would accept around 70. They've just got a little bit of wear on the toe. And then we hit Savers and my average cost of goods at Savers was $10.30 and grabbed these Tommy Hilfiger slides. I rarely, rarely pick up Tommy Hilfiger, but these are brand new and they've got the cool little mascot there. He'll be pretty cool to photograph. So I'm hoping to get about 40, 45 bucks on those. I did grab the Harry Potter. Yes, I'm on a Harry Potter bender at the moment. Um, all of these discs are just beautiful, excellent condition. So hopefully that box set will go for probably around 40 as well. Now we have to get this out of our house really quickly because Brad is a crow's boy, but I'll never say no to that 90s tag. You just ask Diary of a Flipper. This vintage footy stuff goes really, really well. And that might turn into about a hundred bucks for us. I also did pick up some Lorna Jane. Lorna Jane is very, very saturated on eBay. So when I pick it up, I pick it up if it's like twelve dollars um this one obviously my cost of goods came out at 10 30 and if it's in really really good nick so this one's super duper clean i've listed that one up at 55 with offers on 
The rest of the haul was all clothing brands that we pick up all the time. We got some Katmandu, some Wrangler, some G-Star, RM Williams, of course, because these brands always turn really well for us. So we feel pretty confident. We are being really picky in the op shops and we're not coming out with as big a hauls as we used to get. We are just grabbing the things that we're really, really confident are going to turn fast enough and not sit for a long time because clothing does take a bit longer to sell than the hard goods. I did want to give a shout out to Marty. Thank you for coming up in Savers and saying hi. It's always so nice to meet you guys. So please, if you do see us out and about, feel free to come and introduce yourself. My final task for the day before packaging is actually to ship off a return to an auction house. They've sent me a return label and a form to go inside. They've actually sent us just completely the wrong thing. It's the wrong brand, the wrong color. It's not the shirt we ordered. So they have accepted the return pending them checking it over. It can be really difficult to get a return from an auction house because usually their items are just sold as is, whether you know all of the details and flaws or not. Uh, usually that's it, deal is done, case closed. But because we have said expressly, this is just absolutely the incorrect item, they're going to allow us to attempt to return it, which is very nice of them. So please give us a big thumbs up for luck and uh, we'll let you know if we get that refunded. Now, I'm probably the only one who didn't realize this, but I'm going to share it anyway because Josaki Lifestyle commented the other week to let me know, <laughs> and I've never read this. It says, cut open here, save the world, and reuse me. So this is not just for adjustability. You are actually supposed to use one, and then uh, you can open it up and have a whole brand new resealable bag to use again. I have been opening them incorrectly the entire time. So thank you very much, Dean. That was super helpful. Brad has just found a wicked deal on Facebook. We are running out the door. Wish us luck. That was um, hard work. So we just picked up an insane amount of like RPG game manuals, uh, books, hardcovers, softcovers, some Warhammer. The beautiful. Some War Machine. So we paid up, but we will show you guys what we got when we get home. Insane collection. Plenty sir. of listing to do now. So let's head there. I'm <laughs> puffing so because <laughs> it was up a massive driveway and we're carrying these heavy ass <laughs> books down the driveway. So let's head home now mm -hmm. and uh, get it sorted out. Okay guys, we are going to sort this massive lot out. I think we got about two, 250, maybe even 300 books. I'm going to sort them into categories. So we're going to have like $20 and below, 20 to 40, 50 plus, and $100. So the idea here is anything 20 and below will probably lot up. We ended up paying probably about 3 to $4 a piece depending on how many we got. So we'll start sorting them and uh, let's see how quickly we can make our money back on this lot. We are pretty close to finishing comping. Uh, there are a couple lots there that I need to go through that didn't have ISBNs or weren't scanning up. We've got all the 20 and below here, so some of those will be loaded up, probably about 50 books. A lot of them were sitting around that 20 to $40 range. Uh, probably a good 100, 120, 130 in that lot. Heaps 50 plus, which is awesome. Probably about 25 there. And I've just counted how many uh, comping out about 100 plus. So. There's 16 in that lot just there, which means we're pretty much gonna get our money back just on those. This one here in particular was has sold a couple times for 130. So very happy with that. A few more to comp out manually, but uh, for 1,050 we paid for everything. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Some of this stuff is crazy. I just pulled this one here. This is a 200 plus dollar book. The last one sold for 199 and it's actually one listed for $410. So I'll list mine just over 200 and uh, see how we go. But for a, a small book, that's crazy. <laughs>
Monday night now second Warhammer book is ready to go out. If they keep selling this fast I won't even have to build them a bookshelf. We'll see. I can't lie, I absolutely love condensing stock, making room. Well, I said I wanted to stock up this week and I think we have been successful. Super loving learning a new category, it's always so much fun. And because they're nice and easy to list, I've actually gotten a day ahead on my listings again, which is so good for my mindset. It's gonna be great getting into the new era with both of us working full time. So please do join us again next week. Give us a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, or share this with a friend and uh, tune in to see if we kill each other working together. Bye guys. Yeah, let's get it. Party girls.